This is Alan Bush with the Daily Financial Forecast for Tuesday, October 10th. Starting out with the stock index futures, we are at another new record high for the S&P and also for the Dow. Even though we did have one economic report that did come in rather weak today, uh, so the fact that we are higher in spite of bearish news suggests that the main trend is still higher. Other analysis that uh, we have done basically gives us the same conclusion that uh, the main trend is higher for all of the major stock index futures. And I think this is a trend that will last at least through the rest of this year. Moving over to the currencies, seeing the dollar index lower and the euro currency trading higher. This after economic numbers in the eurozone coming in better than expected, uh, particularly in Germany. Also, we are seeing the Canadian dollar and the Australian dollar both higher with crude oil prices uh, advancing. So that's uh, the main uh, driver for uh, the commodity currencies, the Canadian and the Australian. Interest rate markets uh, steady to a little bit higher as the probability of a rate increase at the December meeting for the Fed drops a little bit to 88%. Yesterday it was 93%. We are very much on board with the majority view that the Fed will raise in December and I could see one or two more rate increases next year. Also moving over to the industrial commodities, the copper market advancing, and it looks like there may be some supply disruptions in China. So I think copper is, is probably going to continue to work higher. So breaks in copper should be used as a buying opportunity. Also in gold, we are seeing higher prices again today as flight to quality comes into the gold market. Longer term, we still feel that this market is headed higher and that the 1375 chart objective I think will be taken out possibly before the end of this year. But in any event, the main trend is higher for precious metals, especially the gold. So good trading, everyone. And once again, remember, these are my opinions alone and are not the opinions of ADMIS or Archer Daniels Midland.